Hi, I'm John Twist. Today I want to talk about calculating the compression ratio in your engine. The engine we have here is an MGA 1500 engine, board 30,000 over. Remember that the compression ratio is the swept volume plus the volume of the cylinder head plus the dish in the piston plus the gasket capacity divided by all that except the sweep of the piston. So let's take a look here at the cylinder head. We're going to we're going to figure out what our uh, our volume is up, up here. We're going to paint a little bit of grease on top of our on top of our head. We just had this milled a hundred thousandths. Okay, we just had it milled a hundred thousandths, and uh, we're going to put the grease on there. I'm going to take my plate, my glass plate, here. Get him up here. I've already got my burette filled. Here's the burette. Brooks is taking a picture of the burette here. Here's my burette, and I'm starting at 0 .6, 0 .6 cc's. I'm going to go ahead and fill the combustion chamber here, and we'll see how much volume it actually is. Uh, here we go. We're filling it up. Of course, I got the spark plug in there, and we're right up to there. We go. Now we just have to read it, and it says. I gotta get my light on it here so I can't see very well here. This says 31. Point, oh let's go 31.6. Okay, 31.6. So that's that is the capacity of the cylinder head. Alright, now we're down here on our cylinder block. We put the grease on there and our glass plate on here. And we're gonna go ahead, remember we're at 31.6 on our on our uh, burette here and we're going to let this uh, fill up. There is the dish on the top of the piston so the question is how much is the dish and uh, so I've got almost the dish filled here but we have to make sure that this is right at the very top and there we are, we're at the very top there I rotated the engine back and forth a little bit just to make sure. We only can get in here a couple more drops. The surface tension of our water is such that it makes filling this extremely difficult. Um, and getting an accurate measurement here is more, far more difficult than getting a... a uh, I would say that that's about it. We're real, real close there. And our ending figure here is 39 point, oh this is so hard to see, I got eyes that are over 50, uh, 31, no, 39.4, okay, 39.4. So the next thing we got to do is measure the cylinder head gasket. Now to get the volume of the cylinder head gasket, you can take an existing figure out of your workshop manual but they aren't right. So let's take a look here on, on the paper. I've got, I got some old graph paper here and I and I drew out the cylinder head area on here and left it like that, like that and I count all the individual squares. There's a hundred squares to a square inch and I've gone through and, and made up as many lines as I can and then counted all the half lines and so forth. Uh, the little half squares and I've ended up with um, 8.18 square inches here uh, multiplied by the thickness of the gasket which I've figured by taking my micrometer and and figuring out what the gasket is now and then subtracting from that about five thousandths because there's a certain amount of crush that g goes on here and we end up with a cylinder head cylinder gasket rather uh, capacity of 6.70 cc's. Now we're going to take the swept volume, the figure that we got from the head, the figure that we got from the gasket here, and the dish and the piston, and we're going to calculate the compression ratio on our whiteboard. Okay, now we can calculate the compression ratio. The first thing we need is the swept volume. The swept volume of the cylinder is how much the piston moves, which is uh, the volume here, which is base times height, the base is the diameter of the piston, 2 and 7 eighths inches, plus 0 0.0330 30 thousandths over. And the stroke 
the stroke here is 3.5 inches. Okay, well, to get our, our, our base, we've got to take this, get the radius, or half of it, square it, times it by pi, and then times it by 3.5. So when, when we do that, we end up with, uh, this is 2.875. We're going to make it 2.905, including the 30 thousandths. If we divide that in half, uh, we end up with 1.452 uh, approximately. We're going to take that figure, square it, and we're going to end up with um, 452, about 2.108. About All right, and now we're going to times this by pi, and we'll end up with our, our surface area up here. That's a 3.142, and that's going to give us approximately 6.623 inches squared. And if we take our 6.623 inches squared, times it by our the stroke, which is times uh, 3.5 inches on the stroke, we're going to end up with about 23, oh, maybe 23.182 cubic inches, cubic inches, all right? That's our swept volume. But we're doing this in metric. So now we've got to convert this over to cc's, which is 2.54 cubed, uh, which is 16.387. So we take our 23.182 cubic inches and times that by, what did I, 16 16.387 and we end up with 379, 379.88 cc's. That's our swept volume, okay? That's how much the piston's moving, 379.88. Now we can take all the rest of our figures and put them together here. It just takes a moment to get that. You guys can figure out your, your, your swept volume yourself or look by, by my technical book and, and all those uh, sweat volumes are in there. So now we've got three, 379.88 plus the volume of the head which we figured at 31 plus the volume of the head gasket which we figured at 6.7 plus the dish remember on the top of the on the top of the piston which we measured at 7.8 all over 31 plus 6.7 plus 7.8. We do the numbers here. We get uh, 45. Um, this is about 45 down here at the bottom, 45.5 over 379 plus 45 on the top. Divide this out, and it gives us 9.35 which is our compression ratio. So we had to measure the head volume with a burette. We had to calculate the gasket volume with a, with a piece of graph paper and use a micrometer to get the thickness of the gasket. We had to figure out the, the dish volume with the burette. We had to calculate the swept volume and divide it all out. This MGA engine has a compression ratio of 9.35. And since it has a ported and polished head, that's just about perfect we'll be able to get a lot of power out of this engine. Remember, I'll be at Connell's on April 12th. Remember, we need your work. I don't want to sound like Starvin' Marvin, but send us your calipers, send us your carburetors, send us your engine. We'll do anything. See you guys on Monday.